Well, hello, y'all. This was kind of one of those pop-ups. I'm not sure if I've got the other side set yet. Do I have it muted? It's it's muted. Uh, and who who's here? I see uh, Mary, La J. Mary and Linda. I'm gonna open the mail, and then when Terry gets here, he's gonna do these pumpkins for me. I got two pumpkins here, but I'm gonna open the mail, and then he's gonna come in a minute. Hello, Janie Jane. Can you hear me? Let's open. Let's open my stuff here first, and then when he gets back, he's went to help unload a fuel tank, help the son unload a fuel tank, and he'll be here in a minute. Manella, I'm glad you're here because I've got one from you that I'm going to open. I hadn't opened it yet, Manella, but I've got it. I've got my handy dandy letter opener. So let's get get this stuff done before Terry gets here because I've got things to do, so I'm not going to stay on here a long time. Hello, Chloe. One cup microwave apple crisp taco cones. Oh, those sound good. And twisted baked beans. Now those all sound good. I'm gonna put them in my in my big pile over there. I'm getting a pretty good stack of these. I'll put that right there, right there for now. And and Manella, Manella's Clarkson, Kentucky. Hello, Phyllis. Yes, did I see? Yes, Phyllis. I got Phyllis is here. Good morning, Phyllis. I'm going to open yours. I think I've, when I get these opened, all that's come so far has been opened on the, uh, on something. See what Phyllis got. Sausage au gratin. That sounds good. Macaroni salad. And caramel pecan pie. I love caramel. With cream cheese, pecans, and cream cheese, and caramel topping. That sounds, those all sound delicious. Good morning, Charlotte. All right, put that back in, put that back in there. And I've got uh, two more recipes to open. This is from Shelly in Lakewood, Colorado. Don't want to mess up her address there on the back. Good morning, Gladys. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Dave. Well, I don't know if I want to, if, if I'm supposed to read this whole letter, but she says, Dearest Rita, my brother in Louisiana sent me your video for making chicken and dumplings. I became obsessed with watching your videos. And she looked on the map to find Clarksville. Oh, and it's right in the area where she's been looking to retire to a peaceful, serene life. While driving through Louisiana and Arkansas, we noticed a lot of chicken farms. Yeah, right off the Arkansas River and the Ozark National Forest. Well, yes, Shelly R. Padilla. And must, oh, look, mustard and turnip greens. I might. I might turn, I actually, I say turnip and mustard greens. I, I say it just opposite of what you say it. Purple hull peas. Yep. And I'm going to, I'm going to go back and read that whole letter here in a little bit. Because I'm trying to, try to get this stuff open before Terry got here. Good morning, Shadow Scout. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Janice. And I've got one from Shirley in Pocahontas, Arkansas. 
Pocahontas is not the, the same part of the state I'm in, but it's in Arkansas. And dear Rita, this was one of my grandma Toller's recipes. My father loved fruit cake during the holidays and grandma made this one for him. Spicy dark fruit cake. Uh, and I can tell that's a well used recipe. Look at this. It, that just, I've got recipes with those dark spots on the pages. Well, all right, that's the recipes. Good morning, Nancy, at our treasured home. And you guys can type in and post your links. But I'll have to just talk to you, though, till Terry gets here to, to do my pumpkins. These are books. I guess I've been on a book kick here lately. Probably did more more reading than I've done sewing or cooking here lately. Well, not wanting to cut that plastic. It's a little harder. What what did I get? Sometimes I forget what I what I got. This one is, is Timeless Treasures and it's Patchwork Mysteries. <laughs> and this is the Barrows. These are some that I read when I was a kid. And I was, oh, I was looking for that one, Magic Elizabeth. Magic Elizabeth is one that I read when I was a kid. And I thought I had ordered it with those two, but I didn't. Now, one more, one more package. Hello, Candace. Love you too, sister. And what could be in this box? I hope it's what I think it is. I hope it's what I think it is. And guess what? Let me show you. Let me show you. It's quilting thread. And I wanted to, to quilt my little Christmas laptop up there with red. And so I've got me some red now. So I may go up there and quilt after a while and get that one off the machine. And I've just got two more white ones. And I didn't, usually I usually have two, one for the quilt machine and one to wind the bobbins with. But since I didn't figure I was going to use a whole lot of red, I just got one of it. And I'll wind eight or ten bobbins and then, and then put this on the machine. But then I got a blue and a green just because I didn't have a blue and a green. Usually everything I quilt on the long arm is just with the white. But now, now I've got no excuse not to go finish that quilt. And that's all my mail for today. Got to wait for Terry to get here because he's going to help me with these pumpkins. And then I'm going to put them, oh, I don't know if I'm going to can them, if I'm going to freeze them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to do something with them. You know how I got the pumpkins? Here a couple weeks ago, there was a semi-truck that turned over on a highway, pretty well-traveled highway near here, and it was carrying pumpkins. And when when they turn over like that, they uh, can't do nothing with them so my son had a friend that went and gathered up some of them pumpkins and i ended up with two of them so i'm going to be frugal i'm going to use them pumpkins up let's see and sharing subscribed to the channel showing that omni is a good thread i get mine from linda's electric quilters that was I, superior, superior threads. I think is where I ordered that one from, and I'm sure there's a lot of other places, but that's just the one. And and I got the red, but I got just got some extra while I was at it. They are good looking pumpkins to have gone through a through a, a truck crash, aren't they? You ready? Terry's here. He's gonna carve my pumpkins. 
Come say hi to them. Get down here where they can see you. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> That's Terry. I know he always does that to me. He knows that he's so tall that if he doesn't get just right, you can't see him. So he does that on purpose. You got a knife? Yep. Here, sit right here in my chair. I can't work sitting down. Well, sit right there. Now, I'm. what am I going to do with them after we get them cut? You ain't making no jack-o'-lantern. No, we're not making jack-o'-lanterns. You're going to make a pumpkin pie. I'm going to make pumpkin pie. But how many pumpkin pies would two pumpkins make? I don't know. You fix to find out. Oh, they said hi, Terry. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. You gonna stick your hand in there? No. We ain't making no jack o' lantern. I done told you. Do I need to get a baking sheet to put it on? I'm gonna have to bake them. You might. I don't know. I should have researched what to do with them because very there. few times have I ever done anything with pumpkins. <laughs> I cheat like like you guys and buy the cans of pumpkin. Now you need to dig the innards out of it. Okay. Peel it. Peel it. Block it up. So, can, can, see what how easy it peels. Well, and, you got to get the innards out unless you want a mess. With my hand. Well, spoon or something. And I need to, you, you guys, I need to save them seeds. How do I need to do this? Because cause I really. You want to cook them seeds and eat them? If you don't, the guineas will eat them. <laughs> well, them's a little big for a guinea to swallow. Roast the seeds. Sharon J says roast the seeds. Cook like guinea squash can roast the seeds. Because I do a lot of stuff, but not with, with pumpkins. Use a big metal spoon. All right, let me get me a big metal spoon because that, that stuff's not coming out. Ugh. Let me get a spoon. Get a big bowl. Now, got me a spoon. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, that's that's better. You can get as much of it under your fingernails. <laughs> Sit right here so they can and talk to them while I do this. You get one of them cleaned out, I'll show you how I feed it. Okay. But I ain't no chef. I'm not either. Taste test. If you don't get that out of there, you got a mess. More of that. Now, am I going to bake it or boil it? I just boil it. You boil it? Drain it. And then take that doohickey thing you got over there and puree the heck out of it. Now here, I'll show you what I do when I go to paint it. Well, go ahead and do it for me. No, I, ain't gonna I think he needs to do it for me, don't y'all? Cut it off like that and then just peel it. Which I ain't no good at peeling. No. And then I just cut it up in blocks about like that. And there's my bowl over there. Oh, that's where you put Yeah, the... keep, keep peeling. <laughs> I think he needs to help me. If he wants the pumpkin pie, the pumpkin roll would be good too. Well, you got to cook it and 
period first before do, you make anything. Before I can make anything, got to do this step. Bake in the shell. They're saying bake in the shell. Do that then. Well, you know, they, they it all won't fit in the oven so maybe we could do one one way and one the other way this is the way the hillbillies done it so i can this is the way your mama done it of course a lot i've seen done was on wood stove you can do it that way or you can do it that way here take the take this take that one and do what well, go ahead and put some of that in that bowl. I'm going to boil part of that. Yeah, this one come out better than that up. Other one. <laughs> Reading the comments there. My spoon. What? What temperature do I bake it on if I bake in the oven? You guys tell me. Work. It's easier to get it from the grocery store. That's where you buy it in the can. <laughs> I remember one year there was a shortage on pumpkin and you couldn't even buy it in cans in the store. I think I had some stocked up so I didn't run out. But Three hundred and fifty for an hour or ninety minutes till it's fork tender. Okay, three hundred and fifty. So pumpkin seed just hits the floor. The this one, this one I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna bake that one. Find my baking sheet here in a minute. All right. That's all I know about that. <laughs> See y'all. You gone? He's gone. You didn't. You didn't cut up very much, hon. He's fine. Maybe since you're not going to cut it up for me, I'll just bake all of it. He's not going to sit here, so I'm just going to get a chair. Will you get me that other, another big bowl to put these stuff in? How big a bowl? Ah, that'll work. Bowl? Yeah, that'll work. All right. Are you leaving us? I've got another fish to fry. He's going to go do something else. Easier to cut when cooked. They said bye, Terry. Come tell them bye. Go down here where they can see you. Bye. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to take y'all's advice and I'm going to bake it before I do too much with it. Still digging them stuff out. 
He didn't cut me up very much. That's all he cut up for. He left. <laughs> So those two, and that one over there. Let me get this, get this stuff out of this one. The pies taste so good with fresh cut pumpkin. I just ended up with these because they's given to me. Ann's carving a pumpkin now, too. Yeah, but it all come out like that. Maybe I'm not doing, I'm not doing something right. Maybe it'll all work out in the end. Aren't y'all surprised I even got Terry to come on here as much as I just did? I want that stringy stuff in my pumpkin pie, my pumpkin puree. I hope y'all do a better job with this than I do. I'm going to step over there. I'm going to wash my hands and get me a baking sheet. Now, on those, yep, I'm just going to put them and separate that pieces out and bake the, those two. Let's see what I end up with. I got to go wash my hands. Got me a sheet. Add, add some green jam. Hello, Donna Armstrong. I'm going to put that right there. No. See if this one will fit better. There. I'm going to put this pan in the oven like that. How about that? That work? I'm going to wait till the oven warms up. I don't think it would matter. It's going to take so long. I'm going to go put it in there.
but I don't think they're both going to fit at the same time. That took 25 minutes. Let's see. Good morning, Francis. Good morning. <laughs> Been fooling with these pumpkins here. How's your morning going? So far, she's still in the bed. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's a good thing as long as she's resting good. Yeah, let me turn this this way. Now, yeah, as long as she's resting, it keeps me, it keeps my nerves down. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sitting outside. John's vacuuming. John's what? He's vacuuming, so I'm sitting oh, outside okay. so I can hear. <laughs> okay, those pumpkins will give off some liquid, so I better use a deeper pan. Well, it's about it's about that deep. Is that deep enough? What do you think? You ever roasted them? I've never, you I've never, never roasted them. Hmm, I don't know. I was going to tell you to remove the white sticker, too, but you had already started doing it. <laughs> <laughs> get hot and catch on fire in the oven when yeah. I'll do something hey everybody yeah. I just can't wait for Monday I told John I wish I could sleep through till Monday well, well you still look tired this morning so uh, yeah I am maybe you're just stressed yeah that's all it is I'll, I'll be better And you remember I told you I had one recipe thing that came back where the lady didn't put the stamp on it. Uh-huh. Yeah, go on. It really, it was really, who was it? Sheila. It was a weird, it's a V damper. Okay. And you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was hers, so she'll be late getting hers. Okay. But, uh, my neck is doing a lot better, Linda. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll I'll find me a I'll find me a deeper pan here in just a little bit. I don't I'm, know how, I, I've never roasted a pumpkin, so I don't know how much liquid comes out of it. Either. What would you do with the liquid? You just throw it out, I suppose. Yeah. I know my mother-in-law would always just cut them up in in chunks and boil it, but then every, mm -hmm. what she would do, but. Like a potato. I've never done over lands over time or two. Yeah. I hear your little rooster. I've got three or four now. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward quilter. Well, let me go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> and Charlotte, I've seen people put the whole pumpkin in the oven and the stalk just lifts off. And so easy. I would, okay. I'd be scared it would explode. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and, I've, and I've seen them fancy cooks, you know, even make a soup in the pot with the, uh -huh. with the, the pumpkin be the, the shell. The for the soup. Yeah. <laughs> but it never looked that good to me. It just kind of, it just wasn't something I was used to. So, <laughs> but yeah. I've, seen, I've seen it on, on cooking shows. And Lori, How are you doing this morning? Me, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. You talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. With somebody in chat. You? <laughs> me. I'm doing fine. Don't I look fine? So. Yeah, you do. You got that hair all pulled up, ready to work. I have to keep it out of the way. I know. I know. I was, I, I'm going to go get mine cut, but I'm, try, I'm trying to let it grow a little bit and. It's about to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah. And Lori Clark, I've got neighbors banging on their roofs on both sides of me. I wish they had a beat. It would be easier to handle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All no, it it does it doesn't explode. So. Well, y'all. And Sharon's going to try with her sugar pie pumpkin, sugar pie pumpkin. Probably a smaller pumpkin, pumpkin would be easier to work with than a big one. But 
When that's all you got, that's all you got. And and I said they were afraid. So if I if I mess it up, it's not mess up. And no, that's right. That's right. Much other than a, le a lesson, maybe. I know, D. Whenever mine starts getting long like it is right now, it drives me insane. <laughs> Mine's long and it drives me insane if it's down. <laughs> That's the reason it's stuck up all the time. To pull back. But you, got, you got pretty hair though, Rita. You got really pretty hair. It's, it's huge hair. I take it down and it just. Mine's dry and coarse. No. Well, Very what, coarse. Jay, Mary's got to go for now. And, and Bye, Jay, Jay Mary. It's going to be hot here in Arkansas today. I thought it was going to be 81 today. Yeah, it's that way. It's going to be here too. And then there's rain. I'm sitting outside and you see I don't have no, no sleeves or nothing on. The rain, heavy rain's coming in this weekend and then it's going to be a freeze and cold on Monday, Tuesdays. Yeah, that snow's coming oh. on in, it looks like. So the that weather's just, front. just a roller coaster. Yeah. Nancy, I know what you mean. She said her frizzies too. <laughs> and Lori Clark has long hair. She can sit on hers. Oh, wow. Long. Cherish it. I used to have long hair too. And my papa got so mad at my mama when she cut it into a pixie. I could sit on my hair. And she went and had, cut, had it cut in a pixie because it was so hard to take care of. <laughs> Freezing weather in Washington, but it's it's almost it's winter time though. Cool and rainy in Kansas, Kansas City, and Beverly's got about the same weather too. Yeah. Oh my, ninety-two in Louisiana Ooh. yesterday. Very I don't good. want no more ninety-two weather. <laughs> Give no. me the seventies and eighties, and I'll yeah, be fine. We had, we had them over a hundred, so summertime's yeah. hard too, and then wintertime's hard. So. These would be just spring and fall all the times. So. I know it. And the leaves are starting to get pretty here. I was thinking about me and my mom and sister were thinking about going and driving this afternoon, just looking at the leaves up through the mountains. So. But that it's would kind be of nice. So I'm not sure if we'll go. Oh, with the if it's going to rain, I wouldn't. You know, just don't want to get out and drive in the rain. But but I'm afraid the rain's going to knock them off and, they, and we'll miss you won't the see them. You won't go. You won't I went down and did the chickens this morning, fed them and watered them and got the eggs. And John will gather the rest of them this afternoon. And, and Nancy, I keep my hair the length I have because it's falling out and it helps keep my neck warm. I tell you, in the wintertime, that your hair will keep your ears warm if you don't have some kind of ear warmers. <laughs> but I do but I do have a thing that I'll put around that'll keep keep the wind out of my ears because I don't like yeah. wind in my ear, cold wind in my ears. Sixty four in Ohio, and then it's gonna get cold. Sharon, I have to keep my hair short. It's thick and red and gives me a headache when I wore it long. I'd take it down and it would expand to double. I, I, I love that. Hey. 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 It's about time. I see, so. I see you all at night time, especially during the week. And it's like, I want to say hello, but I know what's going to happen. I'm like, that time I'm just tired because we get up at seven for school. Yeah. And everything. And I'm just like, when well, Friday comes, I'll hop on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so, I'm planning on going on tonight. So we'll join us tonight if you can. I sure will. Okay. All right. Yep. Friday nights and Saturday nights are, and are good for me. Sunday nights is just like, you know, bed early because. Yeah. Well, Monday morning. Hey, yeah. you might see me, but it'd probably be on my pillow. That's okay. Like I was That's last right. night. Francis, we're, I'm going to do them for you because we're trying to get you through the next few days. If it I'm helps. telling you. 
feelings, if, and we enjoy it. So I don't think I'm gonna be in my bed. I ought to. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, my hair can go. I can pull it. It just stays. You know, it makes me think of Phyllis Diller. Y'all know Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Beverly, Beverly loses her. I can comb her hair, and her brush is full of hair. Her hair is so thin. Show you something funny. Then look at this. Let me get it down. I'll put it back up. She got a head of hair now. Look! Look at that. Look <laughs> at <laughs> that. <laughs> you know, I look like a wicked witch or something, but uh, no. anyway, I can't wear no. it. When you brush it and brush it down, it looks good. Yes, it does. But here we are. We're trying to get our hair colored back to what it was when we were younger. And the younger kids are taking in coloring their hair silver like our hair. I'm like, wait a minute, that's backwards. <laughs> I have never, ever put hair color on my hair. Never. I I have before, but it's been oh, 15, 20 years ago. Seemed like it was two, three years ago, but it's longer than that. So. Well, my beautician, she said, you need to color your hair. You would just feel so much better. You'd look so much. I said, uh-uh. Mm. I said, God put me gray, and that's what it's going to be. <laughs> well, I've been putting, um, I made some, took some olive oil and put like six drops of rosemary essential oil in it. Because uh -huh. it's supposed to help with your hair, growing your hair, because it's thinning out right through here. Mm -hmm. So I've been using that, and it's like my natural color, you know, the color's coming back a little bit. It's not as yeah. silver as it was. Yeah. Like, I'm and good with that. Is it castor oil that's supposed to help your hair grow and get thicker, too? Yeah. I don't think I need any. I need a conditioner, but I don't think I need any. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey Charlotte, how you doing? Yeah, yeah but I was sitting here the other day, I put my hair up, and I was looking, I was like, it's really thin right through here. So I was just like it's probably medication you take. Coming all from I some take, medication. All I take is Motrin. I can't take anything else. Oh, you mm. can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now with that alpha gold. Maybe I know. I know. I know. You ain't got to tell me nothing. Let me tell you what happened to John. We went and got some Japanese food, and so I ordered him chicken. But they must have cooked it right where the beef was cooked, honey. He uh, had. He's had a time, mm -hmm. and he's just now getting over it. And it's been about a week and a half that it has lasted on him. Wow. He said no more. Now, I can go to this one place in, in Henderson and get Japanese, and I can tell them, look, my husband is allergic to beef and pork, so his chicken cannot be cooked anywhere near that, and, and it, it's fine. He, he don't ever have any problems with that, mm -hmm. and, uh, but yeah, that, that happened. I told him, I said, John, that's what it had to be. It had to be that food, and they cooked it on the same grill as the steak. They do. They do. Shadow just reminded me I'm going to go get my coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how's Anastasia doing? She's doing good. She is growing. It's like, oh my goodness. She's oh, I know she's queen. growing. She's in a, she's taking a, a robotics club in school. Mm -hmm. So that's where mm -hmm. she's at right now. And her mom and, and dad. She's becoming, she's becoming a young lady too. Oh, more than you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I was like, yeah, she's growing up. Yes, like, she oh, is. Makes you cry, don't it? <laughs> Anastasia's <laughs> growing up. I told her she was beginning to have that little bit of a womanly body. <laughs> yes. Her features are changing. She's getting her little boobies. <laughs> you don't like to talk about that. It's like, soon. But she, she is. She's really growing up, and oh yes. And she Trevor, begins. have you been listening? Trevor is potty trained now. Oh, awesome. He, he goes to the bathroom now. He does not have to wear a pull up. That is fantastic. His papa did that. He awesome. said, Papa, he says, will you potty train me? John said, yes, I'll potty train you. Yeah. And ever since, 
And it wasn't none of Johnny's doings because Johnny was at work. Yeah, he goes back awesome. Saturday. And they got two more races and then it'll be off season. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. I am so glad he got to work with NASCAR. That is just awesome. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. But that woman of his, mm, I ain't even going to discuss that. <laughs> He's wanted to quit a couple of times just because of her. I said, buddy, you quit and I'll whip you like you were eight years old. <laughs> I said, you better not quit that job just because yes, of that. Yes, yes, Time is flying. Yeah. Yes. Like, because she st we started next month. We've been doing um, the channel as far as videos for five years. Mm -hmm. So she, we start when she was five years old, and she turns ten next week. Wow! Friday. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I was like, and I, Shadow and I were talking in Discord last night. I mean, sometimes you look at things. It's like it's been like it's been ten years since such and such, and then if you look at you know like in his days, it's like she's ten. It's like it's gone by so fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One day it looks like it's been a long, it's that's been like long, and then other times it looks like it's gone by that fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, Linda, she should, but she doesn't. All she, all she complains about is how many women did you have in your truck? How many women did this? And how many women did that? And Johnny's not like that. Johnny is a very faithful person. And it bothers him because he can talk to her and then these other men can talk to their women and it's just so nice and they're so happy for him, but not her. Hmm. Uh, he needs to kick her to the curb. Hey, we've all told him that. <laughs> we've all told him that. He says, Mama, he says, but I got Trevor. I said, well, I know that, son. I said, but you know good and well, I'm here. You know. Mm -hmm. But Trevor doesn't like to stay away from home. When he was young, he did. But he doesn't like to stay away from home. He likes to be at home. Yeah. Um, That's hard. Is that Trevor's mom that he's with? Yes. Okay. Her other well, two boys. Her other two boys are from other marriages. But, uh, the Crafty Visage. That's a new name. I'm not saying that one. Trevor's nine years old, but he is autistic. Charlotte, he uh, he's autistic, but he's on the high end. He's very, very, very smart. Because last right. night I said, will you hook up my DVD player? He says, yeah. And I didn't have one of the cords. He says, Mina, I can't do it without this cord to do right here, blah, 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 you know. But he was going to hook my DVD player up for me and Anything on the phone I need him to help me with, he's right there. He knows exactly what to do. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Is Mona going live this afternoon? No, she canceled. She just forgot. I think she, I just talked to her. She had, I think, forgotten to do the YouTube side and everything because Henry has got hurt and so she's moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm everything from upstairs to downstairs and huh. poor little doggy. I know. <laughs> I was like, that's, I was like sad, but not, but she said he must have fell down the steps when she was at work. Yeah. She wasn't even there. When she wasn't there. <laughs> so, but she said he's getting better. So the medicine's helping. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm glad, you know, that's good to hear. The yeah, it is. You know, our animals become family. Oh, yeah, yeah they do. I'm going to tell you what, I miss my Petey more than anybody would ever know. Exactly. Exactly. So, we, um, all right, every six months, they we go through, they call inspection, but they come and change the filter and check the smoke alarm. Yeah. Well, last May, we hadn't really put the tree up and done a few things. So we kind of got, I want to say in trouble, but we got a good talking to. We had to, you know, fix everything. And wow. so um, 
they, they that's what we're waiting for all month. One Wednesday during the month, and of course, they always chose us the last Wednesday. So they came in, because everything looks fine, and they left. I was like, good, but the AC is, um, the pipes keep freezing. So I asked them, is that normal? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's normal. I'm like, that's not normal. Uh -huh. And then you look at the unit outside that the pipe from the unit to the house, the townhouse, yeah, is freezing. I'm like, that's not normal. But no. because their thinking is it's October, it's winter time or it's fall, you shouldn't have your AC on in the middle of because he looked at me, he goes, You got the AC on? I said, I have a heart problem and my daughter in law has asthma. So if it gets hot, we have to turn it on. Especially if it gets too hot in here and it's dry heat, we have to have the air on. Mm -hmm. I mean, he goes, oh, that's okay. I'm like, I'll just forget it. I like thought myself, just get out of here. I'll fix it myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah. it. So, but yeah, I would have Google, YouTube, whatever. And yeah, Beverly, that's not normal at all. And my ex-husband was an HVAC heat and air mechanic installation and everything. And my cousin did it for 50 years. So like, I know a thing about HVAC. I might know a lot, not a lot, but I do know some. Mm -hmm. So um, I Google it. They say, turn it off, let it all unthaw. And then turn it on fan to blow something dirt or something's gotten into it. So turn that fan on to blow for 24 hours to clean it out. Hmm. So that no, Kathy, they haven't been they haven't diagnosed him with Asperger's syndrome. Just um, autistic. That's all they've that I've heard anyway. Sorry, hmm. Nancy. Oh no, you're fine. And good morning, Misha. Hey, Misha. Hello, hello. So that's why I was saying there's low on Freon and the coals are dirty inside and everything. But see, they're not going to work on it until it's springtime again. We've had them work on it three times since we've been here in, in five years. I think I'd be calling the higher up. So I'm like, um, 63 now. It's supposed to be 54 tomorrow. We'll just open up the windows. Yeah, yeah. Get some fresh air too. Exactly. And it's raining, so they're not gonna come work in the rain. No, definitely not. That's just the way they are. Sharon's gotta go get stuff done. I'm getting stuff done. My pumpkin part of it's in the oven, so <laughs> <laughs> you might better peek at it and make sure it's not running over. <laughs> I guess so. Well, it's just been in there a few minutes, though. So yeah, I, I'll I'll give it a few minutes. I don't know if I'll set the timer or just look at it. I think I'll just watch it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you really don't know how long, do you? They they said it would be an hour, hour and a half, and so I'm about checking about eleven thirty, twelve, probably. Uh -huh. Well, it's 12 o'clock noon, my time. So that's it is mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 here, but... <laughs> I was like, you better go check it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Terry had told me he would come and cut that pumpkin up, but, and he didn't exactly get on the camera like I meant for him to, but anyway. What'd you do with your seeds? Are you going to bake oh. them? They're still right here. I'm going to okay. them out, but I'm going to do something with them. A lot of people roast them and eat them. Eat them. I've never ate them before. I bought pumpkin seeds, but I think they've already been shelled out and all that, though. Because, I mean, don't they, won't they have to pop open to get the, the meat out of it, Nancy? Do you know? I roast mine just like that. And eat them just like this? Some people do. That's what I do, but I have so. I have seen people pop them open to get the inside out. Hmm. But, but if I'm, you roast them and they're crispy enough, they're they just chew right up, don't they? Uh huh. 
Now, Misa, she says she roasts seeds every year, salt them, and then eat them. Oh, you can put all kinds of stuff on there. I put garlic on there. I put cinnamon on there one time. <laughs> you can make them sweet. You can make them savory. Make them your own way you want them. Mm -hmm. Yep. All pumpkin seeds are natural warmer. They're great for animals, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we feed pumpkins to the chickens. You oh, know. Is, it, is in Maine. Uh, Maine, that's awful. They still haven't found that that guy either, have they? Oh my goodness! Mm. No, I, every, time on, every time I get on the computer, I look to see if they've caught that guy yet, too. So. We'll see what these gardens asking too. I don't think last time I checked, they hadn't caught him yet. I don't think so. I know. Not, not yet. Not yet. We, we will. We'll pray for you. It's just, you just never know from day to day what's going to happen, what's going on. Oh, exactly. And they are scanning the river today. So he might have killed himself. That's, yeah, probably so, but. But you'd want to be for sure. You'd want to know for sure. Exactly. Well, this was going crazy down there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Saturday, I'm going to start making quilts. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that sewing? No, Charlotte, I haven't. So, because I, I was finally able to get. Um, the batting and everything, and I got some different stuff for the back. So, asked, I told Anastasia she can't pick all the squares because <laughs> I'd be way too big. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was just going through. She was just this one and this one. She just kept on going. I'm like, okay, I have to show you. I have to lay them out. Show you how wide and how long this is going to be. <laughs> uh huh. So. I put, I put 30 blocks and mine mine turned out I like the length and the width of it Your, yours is beautiful I've got to get back working on mine I've got, the, I've, I've got to quilt mine John said the next one that we sandwich he said it's going to be that one don't don't I've, pull I've, another one out it's going to be that one little 8 inch blocks to fill in around that barn and I've got yeah. to find yellow I don't know where I stuck that yellow that I was was doing the sashing with so mm -hmm. Uh, and, and then Patty G, this is I was looking for this Sunday because I was show everybody on the live what Patty G sent me, and I was looking for it still on the brown uh, envelope, and it wasn't even in the envelope. I found it after the live. Uh, <laughs> I like, that figures, but she sent me this. It's oh, panel. panels! Yeah, you can we make that bit? That is cute. That Oh look! And I like, and then we've got two more. The snowman. So is what five, six of them? It is one, two. It's five of them. One, five two, three, four, five. five. Okay. Huh. And then she made, sent me this for um, a door hanging. Snowman. Oh, that's cute, too. Oh, oh, I love it. I was like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> uh, I could go get this, like, stuffing or whatever I use to put this together. Those so super cute. I I don't, you know, I, I like to kind of decorate some, but I think I'd rather decorate with snowmen's and Santas because I'm getting away from that commercialized Christmas stuff. So, so snowman wouldn't would be would be holiday, but not Santa Clausy. So, well, I like the old fashioned Santa Claus. Yeah, the Coke like remember Coca Cola came out with the Santa Claus and everything. <laughs> I like that because that reminds me of the you know old days. You know, it wasn't very really commercialized, but you kind of. Hey, Gladys. Hey, Gladys. Oh, oh hey! I didn't see you pop up. No, nah, she can stop. 
I saw oh, Gladys. Yeah. I saw Gladys come up, and uh, I said, "Hey, Gladys!" And I turned it. There you were. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's not Gladys. No, I know. Gladys was over in the chat at the same time. So. Well, I thought she was saying hello to Gladys. Hi, Gladys. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Haven't seen you in a long time. Hello, Jackie. How are you doing? I'm doing. You doing just right? busy. Hi, Donna. Donna could come up. Yeah. I saw and that. I'm in the clock is early bird masses. I'm not used to it still. <laughs> <laughs> and this was just going to be a short pop-up, but here we got 39 watching. So that's pretty good. Pretty good little crowd. Yep. You, Beverly. Oh, yeah. I, I don't see. know what. Come on. Everybody else didn't want to get up here. In the beginning, so oh. and we we missed you last night too. Well, I was very tired last night, and I just went on to bed and played on my phone for a while. <laughs> but I promised. <laughs> well, I promised. I've told Francis we'd go on tonight, so we we'll want to see you tonight, unless you have some other plans. So. Oh, you're going on again tonight? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I meant to. I should have come on. Well, no, not last night. It was yesterday afternoon. I had some new animals up here on my porch. Oh, wow. Oh. Turkeys. Turkeys. <laughs> turkeys. Oh, oh, that's different. I haven't seen turkeys in years. We used to get them every morning like clockwork. I mean, you could set your clock for 8 o'clock. What are you doing? And turkeys were here. I don't we know if you can see it. We corn out about 7.30. Huh. And see my fluffy? It's no, he's a rooster. That's a rooster. Oh, just yeah. <laughs> he's up here exploring her because it, because his honey lady's up here. She oh. probably come up here to go in her little thing to lay, and he follows her. He trots right behind her. Hmm. It's a mess. And they have a new thing um, with school. It's called Kid Zone or K Zone or something. But during school time, they can get together with their friends from class and everything and talk and chat and like do crafts and everything. So that's why I was called her. She kept saying, I'm still in class. I'm like, well, Bob's class is over with. I know that. <laughs> She's having a good time. Yeah. So I was like, you know, it's so funny because I've seen it, you know, where... She's gotten at that. Anastasia's gotten at that age where right? she still wants. She's love, still lovey dovey and everything. And then she wants her space, and then she's kind of like, I don't know what to do. Do I want to be with everybody in the same room, or do I want to go in my room and do stuff? I told her it's okay to do what you want to do. <laughs> That's on the live. Joanna, she'll come in. She'll say hello and everything. Then she goes play her games over there on the on the bed and then if I say something she'll come and correct me and then go back over there and start <laughs> playing the game again <laughs> I'm like you're so funny so and then I'm uh, using this lovely thing inside mm -hmm. John needs to be he no, fell I, well you, you know he fell again he last fell night last night we were on, and yeah. I had I said John just fell I'll be back <laughs> Mm -hmm. He yeah. fell in the kitchen. Oh my goodness! What did he just trip on his own feet? He his balance since he's lost that hundred and sixty pounds, his balance is just not good. Yeah. And I tell him, use your cane. I can't do no more than tell him, mm -hmm. use your cane. Yeah. That's hard hit person uh, right here. <laughs> what did I do? I was stubborn. I was like the Lord said, I've got you stuff to use. You need to use it. So I was like, yes, because my left tip is just like, it locks up and then just going to ask to explain the shadow. Y'all remember those um, airplanes when as a kid with the rubber band yeah. and you tight, go tight, 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 tight to, well, that's how tight. He just came back. I need to put him back to work on the pumpkin. It's so tight and it just, and it's I'm coming so back. All right. It's like between the bone or something, like a nerve is pinched or something or another, and it's locked up. And I'm just like, 
So I've almost fallen myself in the floor. And I was like, mm -hmm. well, I guess I need to start using this. It's not, it's not right. Yeah, I need. Whoop, now it's, I got two of you. It, just throw me out. All right, and then you then you come back, okay? All right. And I'm not using this cane that actually has been helping a little bit. It doesn't hurt as bad. But I also take Motrin. <laughs> I went to physical therapy once and didn't realize my balance was so bad until they told me to stand on one foot. And I couldn't do it. I was oh. so embarrassed. I couldn't even stand on one foot for like two seconds. So they had me practice just hold on to a chair or couch and stand on one foot. Mm -hmm. over and over yeah and i can do it now i can stand there as long as i want <laughs> but it just took a lot of practice yeah to get my balance back huh. uh, yeah. didn't realize i was that bad i have i've tried physical therapy several times through the years and it's just like i just don't i can't it's just not gonna work <laughs> Hi, Francis. Hey, hey. Where you been? You're not up yet, is she, John? Oh, I'm echoing. Hey, what Janice. have I got to do? That's good. I'm echoing on my side. Do you have two of them up on your side? It's on her phone. Do you have two? If you're on your phone, you should only have one. Um, Stream. I'm on my I'm on my tablet. Try again. Well, you know, it's not doing it. It's not uh, doing it now. You were down here in the basement on two different ones, so it was probably on the, from this side. So so I kicked I kicked the other Francis out. So yeah, good. <laughs> Tell her to stay gone. <laughs> it was causing you to echo. So. <laughs> Patty, what is a pouch basket? Is she up yet, John? Is she up yet? Hanging All right, well, I'm on live with Rita. That is. Oh, cool. She's not up yet. Hey, Patty G, I just showed what you sent me in the mail. I love a snowman. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but I like the snowman. I'm going to make do a panel. to go check out what a hanging pouch basket is. Uh, we have to look it up. Yo, Patty says she needs 20 of them, so we, we at least need one or two then, don't we? <laughs> Hanging on the hallway walls? Who's the mom and pop channel? I don't know that one. It's a quilt shop, I think, but they do live videos, I th believe. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called, mom and pop? I think so. I have been, I've watched them once or twice, but not, but not all the time. If I, if I disappear as my son and daughter-in-law just got back, I think so. No, I'll mute and stop the camera. Brady <laughs> Craft, check the outside temperature and it's 31, feels like 23. Ooh. You oh my to, goodness. You need to go bake something, turn the oven on, get you a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and pop quilt shop. Okay. Thank you, Patty. I'm writing that down. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny how the weather is. But, you know, that's because of that jet stream, you know, it goes all those bars mm -hmm. i used to want to be a meteorologist when i was in middle school i should have stuck with it because yeah. that's one job you can lie to people and not get fired for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's gonna be sunny and it rains <laughs> and, go, and, I, and i don't know why but i like watching on youtube the tornado videos and stuff i don't know why but i watch <laughs> a lot of them and it always breaks my heart, but I mean, but I watch them anyway. So. But people seem a bit uh, not very smart to stay at. Some of them will just stand there while it's coming at them. Coming, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Get inside. It's oh, scary. Yeah. Well, I used to chase, I used to do storm chasing, but I never, I've been so too close to tornadoes that I'm like, I can get the footage 
where I where I was at, but I did not know. Because mm-hmm. I had one form on top of me when we were in South Carolina. And then um when we went back to Virginia, we were in an apartment complex and I was an EMT at the time and called 911 because I was like, there's one forming and I gave him the direction it was going. And it formed over top of me again and then it hit further down the road. And I was like, Mm-mm, that's too close. Yeah. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> hey. Hey. Julie, Julie. <laughs> hey, Julie. How are you guys? Yeah, come Doing on. Good. And, hey, you the are. and I get a whole different crowd. So. <laughs> Are you in the cold front yet, Julie? Not yet. It, it looks like she's got on long sleeves, don't it? Yeah, I do. I do, but it's what's, um, <laughs> you know, you guys are probably have jackets on. What is cold to me, so I just have long sleeves on. It's in the 60s today. Well, Hi, Beverly. We're, we're supposed to hit 81 today, so I don't have on long sleeves. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yo, Patty says, Julie's in the house. Big hello to you. Yeah, big hello <laughs> to Hi, Julie. Patty, how are you? <laughs> how have you guys been? Busy. Everybody's good? Uh, Doing good, but busy. I haven't seen you for a while. Okay, oh, cool. I'll be, I'm okay. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> No, just keeping my a- fingers crossed for Monday. What's going on? Is she go. What's going on with Beverly? Honey, she's completely gone. She craps everywhere in the house. She, it, it, it's terrible. I, I just, all my carpet in my house is going to have to be ripped up. But Monday, we got somebody coming in to assess her that has, she's already really been accepted to this nursing home, but it's not the best one in the world. But at least she's been accepted and they can, she can't get her long-term disability until she is accepted and inside of a nursing home. Okay. So once she gets in there, they get her long-term disability. We're talking with a lady that has an opening in one in Tarboro and she knows to let her get her long-term disability in play and then we talk to her. That's great. And then she'll switch. That's good. Yeah. Baby Does steps, know, right? Does she know mm-hmm. who you are, Francis? Do what? Does she know who you are? No. She's de- no. she's uh, digressing very fast, isn't she? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. While I was going to my brother's, she started this stuff of crapping everywhere. And Brenda and her sister came over and my sister, which my sister didn't do much and had to clean her up twice, one one day and one the next day. Monday, we went to DSS again and we sat in the truck and she had to go to the bathroom. I took her to the bathroom and John was going out the door and I hollered at him. So we walked on back to the truck, came home came to the kitchen and she went back. So I thought she was going to the bathroom. No, she went to her room, pulled her pants down and crapped all over her floor. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't no. know. She can't no. help it because that part of the brain is not working correctly. And my brain's beginning to not work. I know, right? I've, I've gone through it twice. It's, you know. His daddy was never like this though. And it just, it just so, it's so heartbreaking. Yes, it is. Excuse me one second. Yeah, it's just yeah. My mom, she was she had started showing signs before she was in the car accident, and then after the car accident, it just got worse. And my son was he was fifteen at the time. He goes, I'm going outside, and I'm like, okay. She goes, you let him go outside. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. He's like, I'm like, how old do you think he is? She goes, he's not but five years old. He can't go outside by himself. <laughs> I was like, oh, I had a laugh at her, but I was like, it's okay, mom. He's all right. He's a big boy. Yeah. I said, there's somebody outside with him. <laughs> so, but she went downhill fast, too. But that was yeah. part of the car accident. 
somebody um, had ran a stop sign on her and her sister were coming home from church and hit them in the rear end of the van, but it spun the van around and oh, it wow. was draining. They went in a ditch and hit the ditch and laid in a person's yard, but her head, she was spun this way. So she hit the side panel right there in the bar and it split her head. It took 400 stitches from the inside out to sew her mm. head up. Yeah. And she had brain damage up in here where they couldn't fix anything. And they said just little blood clots would keep falling off and going everywhere until yeah. nothing they could do. My yeah. nephew is my nephew is at home with hospice now because there's nothing else they can do. But I don't never hear from nobody to let me know what's going on. So How I just fifty five. And then John's sister, John's sister's got that double lung cancer and in the stage four, but she's never smoked a day in her life. Second hand? Huh? Was she uh, yeah, second hand smoke. smoke. Yeah. Her mother was a chain smoker. Hmm. So I'm, fe I'm feeling like that's where a lot of it came from because John has COPD from it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Got a lot of travel on our road out here today. <laughs> you want to come say hello real quick? Of course it's You guys all ready for Halloween? You're all decorated? Hi. Hi. Hey Anastasia. Hey. Cutie pie. <laughs> She's just a grown one. Huh? Yes, yeah. she is. He grew taller last night. He grew taller last night. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll measure you to a little bit. Because well, I can she actually she, grow on my tippy toes. You on your tippy toes? She probably <laughs> could grow. <laughs> on her tippy toes, huh? On her tippy toes. I right, need to get you something. There's noodles left if you want to heat those up. So, yeah, yeah, he's eating at a house at home. Time, huh? Is that, is that why Terry came in a few minutes ago? Is you. <laughs> He's, he's laughing now. Can you hear him? He's out there splitting wood with splitting hammer. Can y'all hear him every once in a while? He says she better hurry up and get my lunch ready. <laughs> yeah, I'll read all the time with you today. Oh yes. goodness, I think it's that. funny. It is. But. Oh, Reed, I wanted to tell you. Um, on my, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna send you money to make me a cookbook. Reason being is I. I'm not getting the, I've only gotten one, um, I've Shout gotten two mailed to me, and I've only gotten Shout one out. email. He's in the chat. So I don't think I'm going to get all my, all the recipes. So can I, um, can you make one for me? Wait, but don't send me no money, because because there's nothing made yet. So. No, 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 for, for when it's time, when you do them. Let me know. Matter, when it's time, yeah. I mean, because, that could be a year from now or whatever, but. No. <laughs> It might be a few days. I have good if intentions. Move, if, you move, if you move like I do, I'm slow. Uh, a few days with me. Check with me next year. That's <laughs> me. A few days, it'll be about six months. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here. We're going to go get some yes. lunch. What's for lunch? I'm already eating Noodles, she's heating up spaghetti noodles with cheese. And what are you gonna put? Are you putting A1 oh, sauce okay. on it? A1 sauce. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's good. Oh, goodness, that's, that's as bad as me. Used to put Pines 57 on my eggs. Oh, I love Pines 57, but I can't use yeah. it no more. I do ketchup on eggs. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you use Heinz 57? What's in it that the paprika and all in it? It inflames my inflammation. Oh, it really hurt. So, yeah, yeah those nice shades. Any peppers? Paprika is made from peppers. So, 
no peppers, no tomatoes, no potatoes, and no eggplants. Oh, oh wow. well, John can have John can have all that. He, they just oh, told him it was just it was nice the uh, nice. <laughs> animals with four, four hooves and. She's talking about something different, though. I think it hurts her joints and stuff. Her, yeah, yeah. Maybe. yeah. Wow. The Athagal, it she's got a, a different symptom with it than John does with the Alpha Gal. Yeah, Alpha Gal, it affects my hands. It affects the, a lot of people different. It it's yeah. not just always like what John has, the diarrhea, like she has it with her hands and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, both the fibromyalgia and the inflammation in my joints and the arthritis. Arthur, it makes them flare like up. <laughs> So this gonna put me on metal and make me bionic. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Well, at least you know, I did the carpal tunnel and that still works really well. I can clear yeah. Did you have carpal tunnel, tunnel surgery? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I this had that, that too. February, and this one was in April. Good. The end of April. They said it's very painful. Was it painful before you had the surgery? It was painful, oh, yeah, painful before the surgery. Painful before surgery. Yeah, because oh. I could just sit and hold my hand, hold a phone like this, and my hand go numb within seconds. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Try to sew oh. with a needle and thread. Oh my gosh, huh. that was the worst. Yep. Johnny, so need, Johnny needs to get his done right now. Driving a truck, he has a lot of trouble with his these two. These two fingers going well. These two fingers going numb. Pinchers. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Oh yes. So yeah, I was like, well, I can crochet, I can write, I can. I still do hand exercises because it's tight some days. The other days it's not. But I was just like, that's just from the muscle. But this thumb's got arthritis in it. I was like, don't oh, no, don't let them take that bone out. You know, this bone. Well, can you see it? See that? Mm -hmm. bone? Am I touching it right? Yeah. See that mm -hmm. bone? Well, they took it out of this one right here. Mm -hmm. They took it out. I still have problems with it. It's hard for me to lift anything of any weight with that hand. Yeah, because that bone was the support. And I'm not, I, they want to do the other one. And I told them no. Hmm. Exactly. Is what Dee's garden adventure? Are you fixing to go out and work in the yard, plant seedlings? Are you doing it live? <laughs> You're just gonna do it with us. <laughs> All righty, well, I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good day. All right, well, it's, so glad to see you. Man, so. it's 67 here. The newscaster oh. said, <laughs> She says, See y'all later. <laughs> Bye -bye. Later, see you later. I got to go too because I've got to go see what's happening with her while she's not out of bed. Yes. Oh. Well, she's doing that. Uh, outside yeah. with her, so you're working. She, what it is is she don't she don't realize that I'm here and she thinks it's only John. And since it's only John, she's not gonna get she can't stand him. She can't stand oh him. But she'll get out of bed for you, right? Oh, yes. He called me one day while I was at my brother's house, and he said, she will not take her medicine. I cannot get her to take it. I said, put me on speakerphone. I said, Beverly, she said, what? Take your medicine right now. And she, she took her medicine. They did um, that. Yeah. She, she just, she don't, she can't stand John. No. And that's probably why she hadn't got up because she don't know that I'm in here. <laughs> well, I'm oh. outside, but you know, but it's nice out here. I'm just sitting out here enjoying it. Yeah. Where are you out on the porch? The deck. Oh, oh, that's nice. And, yeah. and we've heard we've heard her roosters and saw the fluffy chicken. And really, all the way. We, I mean, I I got chickens everywhere. <laughs> I saw a squirrel today. <laughs> You did what? I saw a squirrel today. Oh, I don't want to see no more squirrels. I don't see any chickens and roosters and stuff like that. I might see a squirrel. <laughs> I see a deer. That's about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I reckon I better go, y'all, so I can get him some her something to eat fixed. And I better go too, but y'all come back tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have ten last night? I know you were going for ten last night. Did you have ten or no? I didn't have ten. No, didn't make ten. We had had like seven, didn't you? No, five. One time there was four across the top. I remember that. But, we never even got close to 10, mm -hmm. but I'd like to see a big crowd if we get it. Oh, yeah. We did. Squirrels he's even got, he's even mopped the kitchen floor. Aw, squirrels <laughs> digging in the containers. Oh, my goodness. I know, right? They can be very <laughs> destructive. They're cute, but they're destructive. And rabbits. Oh, yes. All right, y'all, I'm gone. Squirrels. I'm going to go Francis. fix her something to eat. Right. Love y'all. Love y'all. Have I? My son was saving a dog yesterday that was in the street, and this lady had lost her dog. And my son and my husband saw the dog. It was a little bitty 10 pound, like a chihuahua. So Casey goes running out, he grabs the dog. The damn dog bites him twice in the hand. <laughs> oh. So I'm like, oh no way! So he's on the way home, and he, you know, they just screw with me so bad. <laughs> he told me he got bit by a dog. He said I got bit by a dog. I said, oh my god, you need to go to the hospital or anything. He said, I don't know yet, mom. My hands all bandaged up. So he comes home, and I'm expecting to see this huge bandage. It was a band aid. <laughs> it was a band aid, and it had like, like a little C. I mean, he could have used a stitch. But I told him, I said, get a butterfly, butterfly it together. He, you know, well, he's a dropout medical school student. He knew what, what to happened do. to the dog. Is he in a shelter now? No, no, the dog is with the mom. See, oh, the, okay. she got, the dog had gotten out of the house. I'm in the road. They not the check that? Hmm? Usually around here, they'll put the dog in the shelter for 10 days. For what? Because he just ran out of the house? No. If it bites someone... <sighs> Oh, he wasn't going to go there. No, he but, wasn't. So he was just there. trying to keep it from getting he run was, over in the street. He didn't want it to get killed. Yeah. And the yeah. reason the dog bit him is because the dog didn't know him. The dog was probably right. scared. Right. But scared. yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying because I used to do a lot of dog bites when I was oh, yeah. when I was working. So I know how that works. But no, he don't. I never understood why they. I mean, like my husband went to someone's house. He didn't know their dog had puppies. He, would, he opened the gate to go to the back door and the dog bit him. Well, he, Protecting he, the puppy. He knew why because he said, well, I didn't know she had puppies. Right. Yeah. But uh, he had to go get that t taken care of and they said, where's the dog now? And they went and got that dog. The dog really? With puppy? Did, he, did they take the puppies too? Yeah. I think oh so. Oh my God. But they was, it a big, was it a big dog? Yeah. Big, um, Cattle dog, what do you call them? The oh, I don't know what they call that, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, huh. anyway, uh, you know, he kept saying, No, you don't need to do that. I didn't realize she had pup. No, any dog bite, they will come get the dog and hold it for 10 days. Wow, it's if somebody calls the police, but if you don't call the police, they don't come out. No, you know what I mean? If, he did huh? go get that pat, uh, something taken care of on the bite. Oh, if you go to the hospital, if you go to the hospital, they will call the police. Hmm. Mm hmm. They will. You're right. So I, I was wondering if the Chihuahua had to go to jail. <laughs> Casey, was, Casey wasn't going to do that because we you know we have three yeah. dogs and we have little ones, and the dog was scared. I know. It's I, not like you can't convince some of the the law of that though. You know, like no, you don't need to go hold the dog. There was nothing wrong with the dog except. She did what she was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Right. That's in it depends on the officer. It depends on the officer. I'm an animal lover, so. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. You know, and a lot of times, see, I didn't have do that ever, you're at. Have you ever had to deal with pit bulls and stuff? I'm mm -hmm. not a pit bull fan. Not at all. Rocks. I'm not a pit bull fan. It's how you raise them. It's how you raise the dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. But different mm -hmm. Um, areas in the United States are different. Like I would do the dog bite card, you know, if it was like a little puncture or whatever, and that's it. And and I would follow up with animal control. 
But if I had a little girl one time, it was just said the little girl was like nine, and this dog attacked this kid. This kid had about what sixty stitches in the back of her head. No, oh, my. Mm-hmm. And I told you know, and I went and I. They had to go to the hospital. She had to go to the hospital, of course. And and she was just running. I guess the dog, I don't know what the deal was. But I told the um, the owner, I said, you know, this dog cannot be in the city like this. This is bad. So he was going to take the dog to the country and take care of the dog. I said, I don't want to know. I'm a dog lover. I don't know what you're going to do. That's your dog. But the dog cannot be in the city. I know Dee's garden's got pit bulls and Donna's got pit bulls. I know. It depends. It's, you know, you can have pit bulls that are mean or it's how they're raised or you don't know if you get them, you know, from a shelter. You don't know how they were brought up before. Right. They're in a shelter for a reason. Reason, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, ladies, Terry's come back in. <laughs> Terry's you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> and check my pumpkin again. Actually, I think it's getting soft. I stuck my finger on it, and the the hole or shell was a kind of pushing in. So I may it may be done here in a few minutes. And then mm-hmm. I've got to do something with the rest of this stuff. But but anyway, I'll see y'all tonight. Maybe. Bye. Good night. I'll Bye. see you. Good night. I mean, take care. You guys have a great day. <laughs> see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye bye.